Okay, in our previous session, we have seen how to utilize filters to narrow down symbols which we want to look at in detail. Another method to visually do this is to use the chart gallery module. Now the chart gallery is a little graphical tool which will help you to scan through lots of charts just like a chart book. So you can flip through the pages and you can find the chart gallery in the context menu of many of the elements here in the Explorer. So typically when you click on a folder, you right click, then you have the chart gallery module entry here in the middle. So you click on chart gallery for the Dow Jones for example. It will load all the charts. As you've seen this didn't ta even take a minute. And now you have a new chart window here. Well, actually you have 30 new chart windows here approximately. And on the top you can go through the pages so they are sorted automatically by uh, alphabet and you can flip through here go to the second page, go to the third page go back again, you can jump directly to a page page two or three and of course if this is not enough charts for you or if you need more charts then you can specify here in the next button how many you want to see if you happen to have just one chart and you want to click it through or you want to have two charts or you want to have two charts split like vertically or you want to have a lot of charts, like five times five this can easily be done here in the Fibber Trader. Per default it will load the last three months of data for end of day charts. Now if you need some different views here you can use your chart templates which you have already defined and you find them all in the drop down over here. So you can even load your real chart template now inside of the chart gallery and let's do this with our stock analysis chart template. So if I click it it will load what we have selected and um, when we look at the back this is exactly our chart template here we have a moving average generating signals and now in our chart gallery we see this template applied to all of the charts instantly so you can now flip through the um, for the charts including the the signals in the chart template we just uh, selected easy as that. If you have a chart template which uses intraday data this will also switch to intraday data. If you have a chart template which will load more data than three months this will also be seen here. So this is a very easy way to scan through the, through the charts, look for signals and you click on one of the values Let's say uh, we click on the Pfizer and it will load Pfizer right under your chart. Easy as that. You can call the chart gallery from nearly every module here so let's see, you have them in the context menu of the folders, you get them in the context menu of the uh, catalogs, you will find them for the filter results we just had, so if you click on the result folder, chart gallery, there it is, we have the chart gallery for the filtered values, and you can really play around with it. So this is a great function to use and um, very easy to use and very powerful.